Where am I? I don't know. Hello, there oh you are. God. Can you see me? I can't see you now. <laughs> I can see you. You can see me. Yes. <laughs> I can't see you. Oh, there we are. Woo. Hi. How do you do? Hello, Kat. Excuse me. Uh, I'm still recovering from Daytona last night. Lord oh. have mercy. What a show. That was crazy. It was yes. crazy. I forgot that festival is going on this week. Yeah, we, we went on stage at about eight o'clock and it was still 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my God. You know, I'm <laughs> dressed head to toe in leather and whips and chains and studs. I'm like, oh, please, Lord, get me through this. And he did. Uh, but it was a great, <laughs> great festival. Really amazing. Yeah. Really, really good. So today's, today's a recovery day. I'm staying yes. hydrated, hydrated. Good, good. I am. I have plans for a festival. I think I'm. I think I'm 30 days out from my arrival day for the middle of a field in the center of Tennessee. So I'm heading. Well, that'll to be Bonnaroo. nice. <laughs> that'll yes. be nice. Are you doing Bonnaroo? I'm going to Bonnaroo. This will be my second year, so I too am. I'm hydrating because you hydrate. don't want to show up there and then try to hydrate. So yeah, um, I was telling the guys hydrate, hydrate before we get on the stage. Uh, yes. But uh, anyway, it's so great to speak with you, Kat. We're looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Yes, we're a week out. You'll be here uh, on the 17th. So I know the the tour, is it going well? Because that kicked off, it's just a little yeah. less than a month ago. Yeah, yeah. This is the first leg. We're doing another leg in September. This is the first leg. It's been great, you know. America means so much to us in so many ways. Uh, we've been touring this nation since the mid late seventies. Yeah. And here we are in 2024. You know, I say a thing um, pretty much every night that we released our first ever album in 1974, Rockerola. And here we are exactly 50 years later with the Invincible Shield. It's like, what? Are you crazy? How does that, how like, many, how does that happen? How do you wake know. up one day and it's 50 it's years nuts. are gone by and you're still, you're still doing the thing? I know it's nuts. I mean, it's only when you look at numbers and, and dates like that, that you, that you realize how extraordinary this band is in terms of um, survivability, relevance. We're yes. still as relevant now as we, as we should be. We're not relying on the past to keep us um, where we're at. And that's not dismissing the past because we'll give you Living Up Midnight. We'll give you Breaking the Law and all the other beautiful priest songs over the decades. But to have such a wonderful reception to Invincible Shield from all of our fans yes. um, here in America, it's great. It's so encouraging, you know. You want to keep the party going when, when you get that kind of response. So here we are coming up to the end of the first uh, uh, American leg, and we can't wait to see you guys again. Absolutely. So let's talk about the new album, because that dropped, um, it was in March, Was it, it was the release date. Your first single came out in October. Um, when you're introducing the world to a new album, a, a new iteration of Judas Priest, what goes into choosing that first single when you're trying to introduce the world to what a new album is going to sound like? It's um, it's like a boxing match. <laughs> you put it put so good. I want this. I want that. So what you do is you you turn to your to your label. We've been with Sony, the Sony family, forever, and we have the best teams in America, and we have the best teams in the UK, and um, you know algorithms so you know have a board meeting and everybody's checking the, oh, please, the <laughs> algorithm um but i think it was in in, in order of in, in the sequence of the three tracks that were released to prior to the full album release some good choices were made you know um it's this special thing isn't it when your favorite band is going to release a new album there's just this energy this excitement yes. what are they going to do what's it going to sound like and my thing has always been um, never disappoint, never disappoint your fans, never let your fans down, always give them your very, very best. And because Priest is as a, is notorious for being a screaming heavy metal band, um, we took the opportunity at the Power Troop Festival to run a TV commercial before we went on stage with Panic Attack, which was the first track, I believe, that was, yeah. that was unleashed. And, uh, and that just got the fire burning, you know. 
And then we followed up, I think, with um, Trial by Fire. Yeah. And then, of course, Crown of Horns, which I know you guys have been spinning. So, um, yeah, well, it's, it's a, you really have to know what you're doing. And I think those three really pre presented the, the kind of um, bit of a focus to what Invincible Shield in its entirety was going to push out. Absolutely. And so speaking of Crown of Horns, um, tell me about the lyrics for that song, because it's I learned the hard way that what you dream, uh, what you dream for comes from the pain you hold inside. I'm on a long road. There is no answer. You have to hold the love you find. And that's like, I feel like that's really powerful. So give me, give me like, what does that mean for you? Do you know, I sit down with a pencil and a piece of blank paper. <laughs> go, Please, God, give me some words. <laughs> you know, um, I love love. It's the best four-letter word in the history of words. Love is everything. Yes. Love is all you need. We've, we certainly need love more than ever right now. Let's not get into that. But, um, um, and I think I think I did a lot of reflecting as I've moved on through these decades, you tend to reflect a little bit more. Um, you just go in wisdom and opinions. Uh, but I just thought about this thing, particularly about love. You know, love doesn't come easy. You have to fight with love, fight for love. And um, you can't just let it sit, and, you know, you can't just let it be there. You've got to work it all the time. You've constantly got to be reinforcing whatever love you have in your life, whether it's with a, a partner. You know, me and Thomas have been together for a thousand years. And every night I say, I love you. You know, you tell yeah. people that you love them. Say, oh, absolutely. Just life say is those short. Words. Yes. Just say, I love you. That means it's just such a powerful, simple statement. So you've got that. And it is true. Um, you have to, you, 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 I found the hard way. I did find the hard way because it took me forever to find somebody that I, that I fell madly in love with. Um, and I think that is for most of us. Yeah. Love doesn't come easy. That's a song, isn't it? Love don't come easy. So um, that's just a reference, you know, on, on um, we all wear something like a bit of a crown of horns to, to get to the place that we need to be in a, in a relationship in particular. So it's a love song. It sounds crazy, but Crown of Horns is a love song. <laughs> I love it. And, you know, so you and I have something in common. You've been very open about your sobriety. I'm very open about my sobriety with my listeners. I'm I'm a little over 11 years sober now um, and living that one day at a time sort of thing. And, and for me, that includes like my connection with a, a power greater than myself. And, you know, when I have my conversation with that power every morning, one of the things that I ask for is that I radiate love everywhere that I go, right? Like, because that's, I think that's so important. Like you were saying, the world needs that now more than ever. And, and we don't have to get into the why of it, but, um, you know, I know from my own recovery that part of, of staying sober, staying right sized is maintaining humility. How do you stay humble when you're literally known to the world as a metal God and you you have the whole world as a stage. How how do you maintain your humility to maintain your sobriety? Um, that's a, that's a really good question. Firstly, congratulations, one day at a time. It's beautiful, yes. thank wonderful, you, wonderful, wonderful. I'm very very happy for you. Same deal. First thing in the morning, I say prayers. Last thing at yeah. night, I say prayers. I have to. That's part of yes. the sober routine. Staying sober. Um. I don't think that's ever been lost on me because I know how hard it is for any band to stay together. It, bands are so complex and, and so fragile. The toughest bands in the world are, are like made of glass. They can just shatter and break apart for the craziest of reasons, you know. So to be able to do this work, this job for, for over 50 years, I am honoured and I am humble humbled by it uh, you know I, I i can't believe it and i'm i'm eternally grateful i'm grateful every day that i wake up you know that, that i'm in this, this in this band this band judas priest what a band you know what a life what a story so <clears throat> reflection reflection yeah. gratitude being kind um 
And it's tough, in the, particularly in the world that we live in. We're surrounded by constant screaming clutter. Um, so you, 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 you have to, uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure being sober has, has, has been a big part of my understanding of this. You've got to try and find um, your own internal peace and harmony. Uh, yeah. and that's tough. It's hard work, isn't it, Kat? It's hard work. Yes. You can't let it go. <laughs> You're working at it all the time. So it's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. But truly, um, I'm just so, um, like I said, grateful and, and honoured to be in this band, doing the work that I love to do, understanding the power of metal, understanding the power of rock and roll. I'm sure people have told you time and time and time again that they've been listening to your show and you've helped them get through a hard part of the day or you played a song that made them cry or you played a song that made them feel good. So this is the power of music that unites us and keeps us all in this connectivity, we call ourselves the metal community in priest, this inclusiveness, everybody's welcome. And I think, again, just making feel, making everybody feel a part of your life. You know, when, when we're up there on that stage, when I'm up there being the metal god and doing my stuff, we're doing this together. It's not just me. Firstly, I can't do that without you guys. I'd be stupid doing that to an empty room, you know? So that's all we, that's never lost on me. Every single show, is special in that respect and every single show works its magic for me as a person um, before I go on stage I say my um, serenity prayer when I come up stage I say, I say my serenity I'm just I'm a prayer freak but it helps me you know it it's does just a beautiful it... thing it really does and, and some of my friends I, I, they, they say well, you always pray oh, I'm not always praying I said do you pray I'm not just try it just try it. What have you got yeah. to lose? You've got nothing to lose. You've got everything to gain by just finding just even one moment in the day, just like 30 seconds of your day, just close your eyes and say serenity, serenity prayer. And eventually it'll work. Things will start happening. You've got to work at it. It's like love. You know, you, you can't expect these things to come to you. You can't let me win the lottery. Let me get this. Let me do that. You can't do that. You've got to work. You've got to work, you know. And when you work, when you put in the work, you get the rewards. So all of that is wrapped up in this staying in a in a sensible, realistic place. So we've got uh, I've got just a couple more minutes with you. I want to ask you if you could tell twenty five year old Rob anything. What would it be? Um, just to um, again, <laughs> again, just uh, realize how lucky you are. How lucky you are, because 25 was the, the beginning of priest for me, pretty much the early days. Yeah. Just um, just understand how lucky you are to be in a band. Understand that, again, it, it's hard work. It really is. It's still hard work now. Just don't, don't tell me about, oh, they've got a limo, they've got a jet. No. When you're on that stage, you've got to represent over 50 years of your life, you know. So all of that's wrapped into... Um, Robert 25 and now Robert 73 in a few months um, you've got to um, appreciate that uh, life is beautiful that, that there are opportunities and when you've got these chances um, uh, and, you've, and they've got the lucky breaks from the hard work that you put in hold on to it much like Crown of Horns hold on to it you know work at it keep it strong love the people around you except always remember it as well that you never do anything by yourself. You never do anything by yourself. There's always somebody else in your life, whether it's a band, whether it's a management, whether it's GBF, everybody's in this together, you know? And and that's what I tell 25 year old Rob. And 25 year old Rob would have said, yeah, man, that's cool. Give me a Jack and Coke. <laughs> yep, 25 year old Cat Michaels probably would have done the same thing. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, thank you so very much for taking time out. I know you're incredibly busy. Um, the Invincible Shield Tour, it's going to be at Ford Center in Evansville, May 17th. I can't wait to see you. I'm going to be there in the crowd, and it's going to be amazing. Um, it has been an incredible honor and privilege to get to talk to you today. So thank you so much. Thank you, Kat. Thank you, GBF. Thank you, all you metal maniacs. We love you. We can't wait to see you again for a night out of screaming heavy metal. Oh, yeah. See you soon. <laughs>